back to this. So I'll stack a piece of tape that's around on the other side, but anyway, if I'm turning clockwise, it seems that the drum rotates. Now if you notice the spindle is rotating slowly, sporadically, but it is rotating. The drum rotates consistently, right? So we're looking at the straight belt again most likely. Uh, what is odd is the arrangement if you go the opposite direction, right? If you look at it, this is the opposite direction and right. Notice the spindle is going reverse. The spindle makes half a revolution reverse turns and starts by coming back. Never really considered how they got that motion before any washing machine. Now this is me going anti-clockwise and that's causing this behavior. Clockwise cause the drum to rotate as the brake drum. I would assume that brake drum is specifically activated when you open the washing machine itself to stop the actual basket from moving almost instantaneously. I would didn't think about it before but I guess that does not cause this to go from side to side. Side to side is actually inherently involved in the gearbox. Now I've seen a few videos say that, um, a few sites that say it, but nobody's really broken this down properly and had a look inside. This, as I said, it's a whirlpool washing machine. Let me break it down. Let's see how they got that to work. I have a mind of the correct tools for this. Um, I'm going to take off this plate towards uh, this comes right up here and there's sort of a I don't know circuit uh, probably gonna have to pry that out and knock that out with a screwdriver because I don't really have anything else to work with that I assume that will mean this will come straight off so take this off take this off and then I set up little simple bolts here so let me knock those off and get back in managed to get this out turned out that apart from the clip it turned out that they had one of these little metal clips here also that went into that hole bind this against that so it's just to knock this out now and see what's inside well this is a lot of fun um <laughs> lots of oil pan ring seal to keep it in it's not bad um don't know what gasket material actually it doesn't look like it has a gasket material just a simple little i don't know simple little coating not particularly a gasket per se, but it seems to hold really well. Um, and most surprisingly, plastic gear. Amazing. With this kind of torque, that's a half horsepower motor on plastic gear. Alright, so let me get to stripping it a little bit more, but it's going to be lots more fun after this stage given the amount of oil. 5 p.m. sun on the table. Well, managed to get this out. This is a circlip. For anyone who hasn't tried to take out a circlip this size, or any size actually, without the correct tools, they really don't understand how difficult it is to get something as simple as that off this. When that grabs on, if you don't have the correct tools, it's fun. Lots of fun. Anyway, um, so this is the mechanism. I really wanted to see how they actually did this and it's a half involute well back and pinion type approach and this causes it to rock i'm gonna have to investigate this a little bit better maybe clean it up see a little bit more how it works they've got as you notice some basically poles here a pole on the arm and the teeth which is here here question is how does this whole thing work let me investigate a little and get back Right, this is basically stripped down, all the oil removes, terribly hard to work with all that oil. Either way, seal is broken so can't really put this back together and just chuck it aside with all that oil leaking out. Um, basically, right, this, what we have here, this is the shaft coming down with the pinion, right, and this is the equivalent rack here. So that fits on this, meshes with this, spins. This is actually just like a um, one of those crank arms and essentially when it's on one side it's moving in one direction transmitting um, rotary to linear so it's going away let's say from the center 
and it turns the other direction it's going towards so it really is this is converting the rotary to linear and then that integrates back into this which is basically half a revolution one way half a revolution one way. so it turns like that and we're looking at essentially just like what you have is one of those connecting arms and those um, engines it's going up down up down and that motion like that is translated into turn 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 um, turns out this is really more to grab this and hold it and keep it these little pieces came out with it I uh, can't really tell you for sure exactly how they were so I'm not sure I'm gonna get that assembled right this little ball here and then you had a uh, that little piece of metal here sorry that goes in there so it's the bottom of this shaft and pretty much gives you a nice well rolling edge right um apart from that there's this going on top of this gear and then the circuit which was as i said lots and lots and lots of fun to cut out and um yeah this really just fits on here and it pretty much interfaces only with the outer the seal here isn't bad at all it's an interesting i'm not sure if it can be seen yep it's been seen right if you look carefully what you would notice is an inner seal here there's some spiraling and then there's an outer seal there uh, just a few angles maybe it shows up mm, hopefully it does so yeah all in all not a bad design fairly good surprising that this is plastic when everything else is metal and i have a totally talk here would have all been metal um surprising plastic so pretty much reassembled plate on top so clip get in the next gear and i'm just gonna put the cover on looks nice and clean obviously you can't run this with no oil but i have no intention of running it it's just ready to store it now device fully reassembled plate bell plate clip everything bell pin in there that's the amount of oil uh one of these little stupid little containers about that much that's the amount of oil in there i'm gonna put that in a soft drink container and just store it elsewhere it's just the easiest way to keep it can't put it back in here because the seal well it doesn't seal anymore